Here we are in Philadelphia for this NFC matchup between the Seahawks and the Eagles. Sometimes there's nothing sweeter than a road win, and that would be the case here today. Oh, there's nothing like it. You know it. Going on somebody's, going to their house, going to their stadium, wherever the contest is, and winning, there's no greater feeling. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. The catch. When you can throw the football that high, that accurate, and man, it is beautiful. Right on the target. Nice catch. What a play. Good, good, good. They bring in an extra defensive back. They're going back up top. And he wants to throw it across the middle. Ball's thrown incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there in another incomplete pass. The defense comes out in the nickel. Quarterback drops back. The Eagles now push the chain. Games 16. Well, the offense has done a good job getting down inside the 20 in the so-called red zone or green zone by some teams. But the defense, you can be a little more aggressive now because you don't have to worry about the length of the... Finds the sacred side. Touchdown. The Eagles for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. And following the extra point, the Eagles are leading by seven. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. And he begins his return. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Now first and ten. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. Breaks the tackle. And the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Second down and one. Going across the middle in completion, forcing it into double coverage. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Defense swarming at the line of scrimmage. This is third down. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Three-step drop. Interception. Oh, when a defense gets an interception early in the game, oh, man, will that give them confidence, and it just makes them play more aggressive. So this is a very good start for the defense. The quarterback's calling something out. Nickel formation here for the defense. Throwing now to his left. That pass incomplete. And it's going to base 24. 
quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Gains 18. Nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to play this tight man-to-man -man coverage because you're not even allowed to touch these, these superstar wide receivers. From the red zone, the formation here, shotgun. He's scrambling now. And there's only two yards to be found right there. On the run, and a two on the play. Nickel formation for the defense here. Looking across the middle, Brent Selleck makes the catch. Oh, excellent job by the defense there. Good tackling. Keeps them just short of the touchdown. Now can the defense, hey, can they hang in there again and stop them short of the goal line? Gun, gun, gun. From the gun. Running for his life. And he's across for the touchdown. I don't think the quarterback had any notion that he's going to run with the football. Look, he breaks the pocket. He's looking to throw the football down the field, but nobody's looking. They force him to run, and then he shows his talent, makes it happen, and scores a touchdown. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Leon Washington now with a chance to return this one. They bring him to the turf. The Seahawks come onto the field now for this next series. They come to the line, and it's first down. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground. The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. First down and 10. Another handoff. Tackles made. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. Reaches out and grabs it. And he's brought to the ground. Jim, the coaches tell us the same thing every week about defenses. Can we hold them to field goal tries and not give up the touchdowns? Here we are. They got more than a seven-point lead. Can you hold them to a field goal try? Or we'll find out. They'll give it to the back. Out of the eye. Well, when you get this close, it'll be nice to punch it in there and score. Even though you're still going to be behind, execute the play and get it done. The offense looking down the field. The promised land so close by. He gets it again on this drive. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let it. Touchdown and drawing close. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind, but I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. The defense, a little jumpy right there. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Brought down at the 30-yard line. Hey, let's go. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. They'll go shotgun here. He'll throw it over the middle. Ball spotted away. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. 
Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. The quarterback's hollering out instructions from the gun. Looks to his left. Swatted away. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Failing to connect their third down. Trying to work the middle of the field. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there in another incomplete pass. The quarterback has his team's attention here. How about this? They're trying to pick up the first down on fourth down, forgetting the punt. This is going to set up a change of possession. Good job by the defense that time. Fourth down, they were ready for everything. Very aggressive, fast. They make the play, and this could change the game around. Seahawks get ready to start their drive. What a nice spot to begin this drive. First and ten. They set up the eye formation. It goes to the tailback. After running it, it's second down. Just a quick drop back. Brings it into his body. Good job by the defense at time. Stop him. Inches short of the goal line. Big play. This play set up by the long gainer. Go run it. Here's the handoff. The safety is up in the box right now. Staying on the ground. Takes it across and he's in for the touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The yellow marker comes out. And the extra point is good. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Eagles are getting set for their next possession. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. No one falls out. He's brought down. That was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time. Protect the football. No excuse for letting it uh, fumbling a football in a situation like that. Great starting position here for the offense. First and ten. High formation and a handoff. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Dropping back three. Touchdown, Seattle Seahawks. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. 
It's good. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. He's tackled at the 28. The Eagles getting set now for their next series. The defense comes out in the nickel. He drops back to throw. The quarterback throws to the right. Airtight coverage, incomplete. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job by the defensive back. They bring in an extra defensive back. Five-step drop. Fix looking long. The defense did not give up an inch. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Now looking at third down. Looking to scramble. No separation at all. Incomplete. We see it so often nowadays. All quarterbacks moving around the pocket. That time he gets outside the pocket. But as he looks down the field, nowhere to throw it. Nobody open. Just another incomplete pass. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Not sure why they're going to go for it at this point. But they are. They're not going to punt. And picks up the first down. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. Welcome back. We return to the action with the second quarter. They face first down. Out of the shotgun formation. And he wants to throw it across the middle. Shakes off the hit. Touchdown, and that'll close the gap in this one. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. Count it. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Safety up in the box here. Now first and ten. Going off tackle here. Second down here. Quick drop back. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Brought down at the 41-yard line. When you spy the quarterback, what it does, it just makes it easier to throw the football and complete those passes. Less people covering the receivers down the field. Flex round! Flex round! Ohio! Ohio! Looking to go up top again on first down. What happened here? That pass was thrown right into the defender's hands. Incomplete. Quarterbacks calling something out. Quarters formation here for the defense. Three-step drop. Wide open for the catch. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down. 
but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Flex round! Flex round! Third down and two. Stands in the pocket. Trent Cole gets to the quarterback. Oh my gosh, when you take those blindside hits, the first thing you think of as a quarterback when you get up, did somebody make a mistake? Or did I make the mistake not seeing that guy coming? Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth and eight. Trying to find an open man. Dominique Rogers Cromartie makes that pickoff. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Hey, let's go. It's first down as they head to the line. Even, even. Drop back, shotgun formation. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. First down and 10 challenging that's an interception they've got him down there good job by the defensive back reading the wide receiver makes the break at the perfect time and gets the interception First down coming up. They'll go ground, trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Well, this team is definitely committed to the run. There's no doubt about it. And when you're committed to the running game, hey, a lot of them are not going to work. That's okay. Stay with it. Second down and eight. Gets it again here. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. On the way, third down. Right back to him one more time. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. First down on the way. Back to the ground. Trying to power his way right up the middle. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. They hand it off to him again. That'll stop the play right there. This offense, they are methodical, aren't they? They're kind of boring to watch. First down, first down, first down. Play number six coming up on this drive. Three-step drop. He's looking long. Makes the play. These big receivers in the NFL now, they can get down the field and just give them a chance. That's what the quarterback did. Nice catch by the receiver. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The give, middle. 
picks up about two. You've got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served the purpose. The quarterback's hammering out instructions. Just a quick drop back. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Good quarter. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. The ref will sort this one out. He's thrown a flag. The point after is good. He'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. He's tackled at the 30. Eagles ready to take over the football. These defensive backs are ready for a battle. Split backfield here. Going across the middle. And it's knocked down, incomplete. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Gun, gun, gun. The quarterback has his team's attention here. Second down and 10. Looking for an open. Ball's picked off. He's in the clear. Knocked out of bounds. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Offense getting set. The goal line in sight. Lynch now slashing to the right side looking for room. Touchdown, Seahawks. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. Now the kicking team coming out for the point after. Add the extra point. The kick is good. And after that extra point, the Seahawks lead by 14. The Eagles are prepared to return to kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. He's got some daylight. Touchdown, and this game just got a whole lot more interesting. You always tell the kick returner, when he's in the end zone, don't take it out. This time he does. Look at the block. Look at the speed and the moves. And takes it all the way for over a 100-yard touchdown. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. Receiving team has it. The Seahawks come onto the field for their next series. First down here. They feed the running back. And he's brought down by Lions. They're going to the hurry. 
That's second down coming up. Here it goes. <laughs> the run with it again. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. It's a mindset. It's a culture. That's what you've got to create when you talk about running the football. And when you get it going the right way, you can grind the defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. The throw to the left. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. All you need is a small window down near the goal line when you're hooking up with a tight end. That time the window was small. The tight end did an excellent job of keeping the defender on his back, and he gets the touchdown. Extra point All is side. good. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. They're not going to risk the big return, so here's the squid kick. And he is tackled at the 44. The Eagles getting ready now to start their drive. Here, a split backfield. First and ten. Trying to work that left side. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. What a job by the quarterback. Finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. Offense lines up here. Back to the air here on first down. Heaving it down the field. Here's the pass, and it's broken up incomplete. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. That timeout by the offense. They ought to award him four if he makes this. Next week, they might be trying kickers out when they go home because they did not expect to miss that field goal. It comes up way short. We're back here now in this one where the Seahawks lead by 14. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Now the smart play here is just to squib this one and avoid the big return. The defense comes out in the nickel. First and ten. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. And tackled down at the 43-yard line. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time.
they're able to move the chains after that last run. They beat him the ball again. Hold on a minute. There's an injured player on the field. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it. But it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. You got to keep your offensive line aggressive, so you got to let them run the football so they can hit those defensive linemen. The run didn't pick up many yards, but it's still serving the purpose. Third and nine, looking to the right side and throwing. The defense had that one covered. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage that time. When you want to shut down a receiver. Really, the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. We've got an update now on the earlier injury. We knew it might be serious, Phil. It's at least serious enough to keep him out the rest of this game. Yeah, it is, Jim. We know that for sure now. I'll tell you this. I'm not a doctor. I'm just, just saying from what I saw and, and looked at the replay, I know he's going to miss a, the rest of today's game, but I think he'll be back next week. Eagles come onto the field now for this next series. A miserable place to start this next drive. Now first and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Not giving up another inch. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. Split backfield here. Out of the gun. The quarterback. Interception. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Offense lines up here. First down and ten. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. This will be second down. They'll run it with him again. Searching for a lane to the left here. We'll go no huddle. The quarterback's calling something out. Following the run, it's now third and seven. Dropping back three. Looking down the field. And he's taken down. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. The punter awaits the snap. Jackson's going to try and return this punt. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. The Eagles get ready to start their drive. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. 
A nickel formation here for the defense. The defense gets a sack. Well, we know one thing. If you're a defensive tackle, you got power. And it was on display that time. Wonderful job by the big fella. Busting through there and getting the sack on the QB. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Quarterback dropping back, looking to get the feet planted. It's Earl Thomas who makes the tackle. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Getting away from the pressure. And slides to a stop. Time for the no-huddle offense. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. That leads us to second down. It's a throw all the way. Inhales the pass. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they're still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. The quarterback has his team's attention here. He'll fire it out to the left. Touchdown. This game is tight. Wide receivers, they are turned into stars in the NFL. And you know why? Because they can make catches like this. What a great catch. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history. And they'll go for that two-point conversion. The quarterback throws the pass. They're lining up here for the onside kick. The Seahawks are getting set for their next possession. First down here. Out of the eye, they give it to the tailback. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Second down coming up. Another carry here. And he gains maybe three. After that run, third and eight for the offense. Eyeing that left side. The reception, easy, wide open. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Here's the first snap after the big play. First and ten. They give it to the running back. They tackle him for a loss. Fifteen minutes to go. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to this shootout. The quarterback is coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Taking off. Gains 18. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run.
from inside the red zone. First and ten. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. Play number six coming up on this drive. Back to the running back. He's brought to a halt. No gain on the play. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Staying on the ground. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. A short field goal try on the way. Good hold, good kick, three points. Good job by the offense. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Eagles getting set now for their next series. Gun, gun, gun. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. What is it? That's a pass all the way. Surveys. And he's going to be brought down. Time for the hurry up offense. That time I give all the credit on that sack. I got to give it to the secondary. It is truly a covered sack. Nowhere to throw the football, so the quarterback keeps hold on to it. And look what happens. The defense gets there. Second down and 13. Working that left side. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. Great job by the receiver that time, holding on to the football after the catch. What a hit by the defense. In this league, you better be able to catch it and take the big hit. First down here after the completion. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receiver by giving him Hampson. Good piece of tackling. You know, when that football was coming towards him in the air, he knew if he caught it, he was going to take a big hit. Well, you know what? Good thing he caught it, because if he'd have dropped it, he still was going to take a big hit. Nice catch by the receiver. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Staying with the passing game on first down. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. The quarterback's calling something out. This is a five-step drop back. Looking across the middle, the Eagles get a first down. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. These DBs will not back off. 
the offense, ready to take advantage of this golden opportunity from the red zone. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. He'll throw it over the middle. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. Well, that's a good touchdown by the offense there. And, you know, what it's done, it's gotten this game closer. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous thing. We'll see if they can keep moving forward after this. Lining up now for the two. Gets away from the heat. Put an additional two points on the board as they convert. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. The onside kick executed to near perfection and it looks like the kicking team has it. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. Now first and ten. Trying to make something happen. Shrugs off the first hit. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. Playing press coverage to the outside. The quarterback is coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. That catch will keep the drive alive. Well, the man-to-man coverage, bad job by the defense. The defensive back so slow, no chance of keeping up with the wide receiver. are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. The offense coming to the line inside the opponent's 20. First down and 10. McCoy. And that gains one. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Dropping back to throw. Running away from the sack for a gain of about five. No huddle time. With about a minute to go, they're going to need every break possible. First, they must score on this possession. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. On the money. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. The kick is good. Pressure pad kick to tie the game, and he delivers the goods. How about that? You talk, you know, the word pressure used too much in football, but when you're talking about a place kicker, I think that's where the pressure comes in. And he didn't feel it. He kicked it hard and put it right down the middle. Leon Washington now with a chance to return this one. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. We've got an update on the earlier injury, and we're hearing now he will return to the field. So thankfully, the injury was not all that serious. Yeah, it's good news to hear, isn't it? I mean, for his family, his friends, and of course, most importantly, right now for the football team, they need him back out there. Seahawks ready to take over the football. Ohio! Ohio! Flex round! Flex round! Tie game in this one. Fourth quarter is winding down. Trying to work the middle of the field. 
No way that would be completed. There's a difference. When you play zone, you drop back and you watch the quarterback and you react to the football. When you're playing man-to-man, -man, all you're worried about is where that receiver goes. You try to shadow him, look for the football, and try to make a play. Second down following that incompletion. Handed to the running back. He's got a little bit of daylight here, and he's taken out of bounds. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense has got to be happy with that. Looks like they're in press coverage here. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. They're in the hurry up mode. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Quick drop back. And Dominique Rogers Cromartie has an interception. Breaks free. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open. Tries to force the pass and look. What's it turn into an interception? First down, offense readying for the snap. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. The defense wants to stop the clock. Split backfield here. Base 24. Base 24. Second and 10. Another handoff. And that's a two-yard game. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. The clock hits zero. And we are going to overtime. The Eagles are prepared to return to kickoff. He's got a wide open alley. Touchdown! This kick returner, he's so good. You always have to pay attention to him. Even when he catches the football in the end zone, he will bring it out. He is dynamic. We see why he brings that football out. Makes people miss. Has great.